Listen to this number. More than 6,400 Americans say they were scammed after visiting dating websites just in the second half of last year. Well, this morning, the FBI is saying those people lost massive amounts of money. The victims are often older Americans simply trying to get back in the dating pool. Maria Villarreal talked with one of the victims. She's also the newest member of our CBS News family, joining us from our Dallas-Fort Worth station, KTVT. Maria, welcome. We're great to have you here. Thank you so much, welcome, and good welcome. morning to you guys. You know, looking for love and a companion online doesn't always work out, but we met one woman who lost her entire life savings after her search turned into a scam. I got lonely, so, and I spent a lot of time on the computer playing games. And I just happened to go to the date site. When Jenna Cook went looking for love online, 17 years after losing her husband, she found a suitor on the very first day. I liked him because he was, he said sweet things and he was, he was very charming. After four months of courtship, including emails and phone calls, but never meeting in person, the man who claimed to be a contractor from Virginia was suddenly stuck somewhere in Africa and in serious trouble. According to the story, he became very ill and um, he was in the hospital. He claimed to have had a kidney transplant and it was like $4,000 a month. I was really worried about him. I thought the man was going to die. The money started to add up, and before Janet realized she was being swindled, the 76-year-old widow was out roughly $300,000. These are people who have worked so hard for their savings, and now they're giving it all away to the romance scammers. Barbara Hannah Grufferman is with AARP. The organization is now warning members that seniors are a prime target for online dating scams. The studies show that as you get older, Older, your ability to decipher deceit declines. That means that as you get older, you have to be even more vigilant. Janet is trying to recoup some of her lost savings from Match.com, the site where the scammer found her. I think they have a lot of responsibility that they're allowing it to go on and, and not policing it at all. Match.com declined our request for an interview, but in a statement to CBS this morning, said the company requires users to pledge never to send money or share financial information with other Match users and to report anyone who asks for money or financial information. How prevalent is this? Well, Americans, uh, the last six months of 2014, amazingly enough, lost over $82 million. Think about that. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Now, that's what's been reported, okay? I th we all think that there are a lot more people out there who are not reporting when they've been scammed because it's embarrassing. AARP says the online scammers share common traits. To spot them, look for those who make frequent spelling errors, use fake photos, claim to be working overseas, and especially those asking for money. If you're online and you're looking to date and you see some of these red flags pop up, get a second opinion. Ask a friend, what do you think about this? We're not saying you can't find love online, right? Absolutely not. I actually personally know quite a few people who have. You don't need to divulge everything about yourself until you've gotten to know that person a little bit more. Despite being badly burned, Janet Cook hasn't given up on her search for a companion online. She's just a little more savvy. I wouldn't trust anybody on it without doing some kind of background checking and making sure that they're legitimate. We're all vulnerable in, in the right situation. Now, surprisingly, AARP tells us that men have been found to succumb to online scams more often than women, but women actually report those scams more often when they actually occur. So. That's why it's so good that Janet Cook is speaking up, because yes, as, as embarrassing yeah, as it can exactly be, right. she's going to help other people. It's so bad that somebody would take advantage of people's grandparents. It just makes you sad because, you know, and it's not even just grandparents, it's just older yeah. adults in general. Yeah. Yeah. Maria, thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. Good to have you. Yeah.